Hello there, my pony, and welcome to the fourth episode of Pagey Time, the series where you pick the topics and I talk about them. Thanks a bunch for all of your fabulous comments about music in the last episode. There were so many to choose from, but here are a few of my favorite. If you want a chance to get featured in the next episode of Pagey Time, please comment your thoughts and opinions about balancing a My Little Pony and LPS YouTube channel with your real life down below. Anywho, in this episode we will be talking about my tips for designing a My Little Pony OC. I'll be walking you through the steps that I made up while creating a super magical OC to represent a topic that I'm actually very passionate about, feminism. Let's get started. Now a lot of people like to make their OC, original character, by using an online pony creator or generator. However, since I want to make my ponies main and design original, I'm going to stick to just regular pen and paper. The first step in designing any sort of pony is to choose what race you want them to be. Earth Pony, Unicorn, or Pegasus. Now you'll notice that I didn't say Alicorn. Well, I think it's perfectly fine that you make your OC an Alicorn. Just for the purposes of not being cliche, I would recommend choosing one of the main three. I'm going to make my pony an Earth Pony. So let's sketch out the basic design of her. Yep, in the last episode you got to hear me sing, and in this one you get to see me draw. And here's the basic, and I mean very basic, outline of what my pony is going to look like. Now you've got to choose what your pony's talent is, and then base the mane and color scheme off of that. Since my pony's special talent is based around feminism, I'm going to design my pony revolving around that. Now, for the mane, you want it to be original, but not too complicated. Feel free to stray away from the regular forelock and then back part of the mane, but be sure not to copy any mane six or supporting character's design. As you can see, my pony's hair has alternating curls and it also has a connecting piece between the front and back of the mane, which I don't see very often. The tail should be similar to the mane, but not too complicated. Now let's add some eyes and other facial features. Oh, and don't forget to be creative and original with your cutie mark. The cutie mark is really tiny, so you don't want to make it overly complicated. Stick to one or two symbols that represent you. So now we have the complete drawing of my OC, but she still needs to be colored in. When picking colors for your ponies, you always need to remember that less is more. The body is normally one color. You really don't need to have more than that. And the mane should only be between one and three colors. The rainbow looks nice. It's really big and bold and in your face. And don't let me dictate your choices for you. But let me just say, in my opinion, brighter and softer colors look a lot nicer than just super neon and bold colors that are totally in your face. So with that in mind, let's color in our pony. The pink and blue in her mane represent that both boys, girls, and people of any gender can be feminist, and the purple represents the balance between the two because that's what feminism is all about. The cutie mark is of course the feminist symbol, which is the female symbol with a fist in it. The eyes are rainbow because even though I said that rainbow generally isn't a good color to use, I just thought it would help symbolize the equality. And she's done! I do hope this tutorial-like episode was helpful for you in creating your own MLP OC or altering your old one. Oh, and by the way, this feminist OC that I have created needs a name. So if you have any name suggestions for her, be sure to comment them down below. Keep in mind that in the MLP universe, names are usually two words, one of them like an adjective and the other a noun or something like that, but it really doesn't matter what you name your OC as long as you like the name. Oh, and please do not use this OC that I've created because even though I did design her in a short time, I'm actually pretty proud of her and I don't really want people using her if they didn't make her, so just be creative and make your own OC. 
And I hope you enjoyed this fourth episode of my series, Pagey Time. Remember, if you want to get featured in the next episode, comment down what you did to design your OC or how you are going to design your OC, and I'll feature my three favorite comments. And that's all for now, so bye!